Hello, Jim, and welcome back to Rome World. We are starting off in speed three, a little unusual, but I just want to do this here. We just need the power circuit right over here. That'll join this guy to the rest of the grid. Great. We have our new kill box set up. Um, I suppose we can move. Let's get a zone here of dumping stockpile here. Basically set it up so that um, kind of tempt them into being in spots here. Again, this should be relatively bad cover. Um, hmm. Make sure we don't get any corpses here. That's all I. That's what I don't want. No corpses inside of any of these, please. So is there a faster way to do this? I could probably just do it in a single line. There's enough chunks that it would definitely take up the entire line, and I'd rather not. Okay, right in the barricades. I forgot about that. Our barricades right here to make sure they don't use this as a sniping position. And we might as well go ahead and put an IED uh, right here. Okay, so that's our new kill box set up. We have new generation because we still have volcanic winter. We're going for 14 days and no sign of stopping. So this sun lap needs to basically be our sole source of food, unfortunately. Uh, we do have some wildlife in the area. Not as much as we used to, but it's still here. We need to hunt this lynx down. If we don't hunt the lynx down, it's going to hunt us. Uh, where's the lynx at? Lynx is... Oh, that's Sanaki. Lynx is... All the way over here. Okay. So we can take him out. And hey, food. We need to make sure to do that. Awesome, what are you wearing right now? Awesome is wearing a cool helmet. What is this? A prestige cataphract helmet. That is not... I mean, I guess you could wear that. Ondu is not wearing... What are you wearing, Luna? Prestige marine helmet. Okay. Um... What I'd like you to do, Pondu, I want you to wear that cataphract. Can you do that? We're having the same problem we had before. We can't get Pondu to wear the freaking armor we wanted to wear. I know we got some. Okay, let's 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 set this up properly. I I tried to do it quickly last episode. It didn't work out. Let's try to spend some time here. Okay, so I want you to wear. Okay, these are all the headgears. Um, let's say no headgear at all for you, okay? You want to wear armored headgear, that's fine. I want you to wear the, um, this thing that Luna's wearing, which is the marine helmet. It's the prestige, I think it's one of these. It's one of these, one of these, hold on, let's see what this actually is. Prestige marine helmet, yeah, 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 okay. So, prestige marine helmet is right here. So, deselect all this, just the Prestige Marine Helmet, or the Cataphract if you want to, you know, one of those. But those are specifically for melee. Only melee gets to use those. For the workers, your armor, the headgear, we only want you to wear in the Flak Helmet, nothing else. That's what we built those specifically for you guys. Later on when we get, like, Raycon Helmets and other stuff, you can do that eventually, but for right now, just that. And then the Flak Jacket for everybody. And that's it for the workers. Right? Yeah, pants, button-down shirt, t-shirt, whatever. It's fine. But that's it for the workers. The melee people need a little more protection. That's why we want them in cataphrag armor. Some of course, we actually have cataphrag armor, which I'm pretty sure should be in here somewhere. Unless somebody's wearing it. Now, they're all wearing flak jackets except for Pondu. Okay, so where the heck did the cataphrag armor go? Couldn't have gone far. And we just bought it. It was dropped off in a drop pods. Drop pods are usually here. It means it must already be put away somewhere. I don't see it. I see flak jackets and flak helmets. The cloth tooth we can give up. Oh, these don't have any... Hold on. Need to copy the settings here and make sure these new things here all have the same settings. There you go. 
Okay, so those are gonna be put away. Where did the cataphract armor go, though? Maybe it's in here? I didn't even realize we had a low shield pack. Assault rifle, that's right. Weapon check, everyone have a weapon? Always need to make sure. Sometimes these guys drop their weapons. Okay, Pondu Soldier, Zeus Hammer, great. Everybody has a weapon, fantastic. Okay, good. It's like a shock lance in there. I mean, that's cool and all, but where the devil did the cataphract armor go? We bought it, I know we did. I spent money. I would like my money back or the armor, one of the two. I'd rather the armor. I don't see it. Did I not actually buy it and I just thought I did? I mean, she still has a shield belt, which is great, but without a flak vest or some kind of protection, some kind of armor, she is going to be in some serious pain. It's going to be bad. Oh, yeah, she got the helmet at least. That's good. Yeah, everyone traded outfits, so it looks like we're good there. We still have the problem that we don't know where the cataphract armor went. Yeah, there's a prestige cataphract helmet there, so you can trade out to that when the other one wears down. I don't know where this went. There's only a few places it should have gone. Damn, 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 damn. Okay, well, let's just assume it's it's not gonna happen. Okay, so then we should probably build, we should make something that we can make armor. We have a smithy. I don't think that's actually gonna do it though. At the smithy, we cannot make armor, unfortunately. We can make a simple helmet, but that's not the same thing. That is a stone cutter's table, that's not gonna do it. Machining table? Well, I can make more flax vests and stuff, so we can do that, but that's not exactly what I wanted to do there. I thought somewhere in here you could make like steel armor, maybe you need to research it. Also here, make sure we have advanced components until we have at least 10. Someone else should go ahead and make that for us. Maybe there's a production thing we can do? Let's see. Uh, fabrication bench, maybe? I don't think the fabrication bench lets us do anything with that. I don't see it. Maybe we need to research it. Yeah, there's nothing we can do there. That's all bionic stuff. Huh. Uh, research. I guess we're almost done with the recon armor. Okay. I mean, it requires advanced components, because of course it does. We're almost done making advanced components for the Crypto Sleep Caskets, so we're nearly done with that anyway. So maybe we just have to wait a little bit for Pondu to get some decent armor. I prefer, like, a steel breastplate or something, but we'll see. Okay, this is set up. We should probably make it so that... Yeah, this doesn't matter. As long as we set this up here. Okay, that's our new kill box. I think to be on the safe side, we probably should put a turret inside of here. It's only gonna cost us like 100 steel. We can we can afford that. Just in case somebody lands in here, I don't want to. I want I don't want this to be defenseless. In that same vein, we already have a turret over here. Let's get our turret over on this side. Just in case our farms get invaded, get some little bit of protection. Freaky, come on. You gotta be better, man. You gotta be better. Some resources have been wasted. It happens. It happens. Everyone's gotta learn. Sometimes you learn by failure. It happens. Uh, so the hauling bots are free to roam, right? They can do wherever? Yeah, they can go wherever. Okay. Well, we just say, like, we want these to be sorted, and they should move them. Yeah, there we go. Put them right into place. Thank you. Okay, great. They're gonna take those elsewhere. Yeah, sure. Put them in here. Why not? Just fill in those gaps best you can. Inspire trade on Jazz. Jazz is busy. Jazz is researching. 
She's almost done. Well, for recon armor, she's almost done. She's got other stuff to do. We are so close to getting off this planet, guys. Got two more Crypto Seek Caskets to do. Once we do that, though, we're done. We're out of here. Sylvia might be the only one with enough crafting skill to be able to make research uh, or advanced components. So this might have actually been a waste. We might not have we needed two fabrication benches. Like, nobody else is doing this, so yeah, this is a waste. Okay. Well, I'll deconstruct the older one, then. If nobody else is going to do it, then just make sure that we have enough components. Um, do until you have... I don't know. Now, for the most part, we're set here. Say 50. We probably don't need that many because... Yeah, you know, we can always trade for them, but... That's okay. But hey, we got power generation for days. Like, we could probably do another solar... Or another sun lap if we wanted to. And we might need to, depending on how the food goes. Right now we're doing okay. We don't have a lot in the way of meat. Right, we had a... Uh, we had a lynx we need to take care of. Yeah, we do. Okay. And maybe even the Mega Sloth. Maybe even the Mega Sloth. The, our current Mega Sloth right now is going to go hungry if we're not careful. We have no hay. The Volcanic Winter is not making it so this is going to grow very quickly. I mean, the growth rate is slow, and it's the middle of the day. It'll get there. It's just going to be very, very, very slow. Our Mega Sloth might die. We killed off the Apakas already because of that very risk, but it's possible our Mega Sloth could die here. Awesome's not feeling too good, bad. What's, what's wrong with you? Want Acolyte-specific apparel. Are you shitting me? You want a formal shirt, a cape, a lady's hat, or beret. Any prestige? Are you shitting me right now? You want to sleep with Starblazer, too. Well, dude, Starblazer's just not interested in you, so tough. Disturb sleep. Slept in the cold. Yeah, it is pretty cold outside. I mean, it's 21 out there. Indoors, it's 18. Your bedroom should be fine, though. Your bedroom's 21. 21's fine. No complaining. 21's fine. We put another heat out, heater over here just in case. Like, there, this is a lot of room. For this one heater right here to take care of. So I guess we put another heater in just to be on the safe side. Alright, give me a temperature. Put a heater, like, say, right here. Why is there a meditation spot in the middle of nowhere? That's weird. I have no idea why that meditation spot was there. Oh, right. No, we did that. And that was old. That was before these were bedrooms. I just never disassembled them. Okay, that was weird. Anyway, we need to get some people out in the world. So, awesome. Just suck it up. Um, you guys are idle. So, you guys are coming with me. Really, I just need like two of you. So, like you and Starblazer. This Lynx is where? All the way over here. Okay. Like he's already killed somebody. Come over here. As soon as we take out the links, we can um, harvest this, whatever this is. Sniper rifle and... Oh, okay. And a raider, it looks like. Look him over here. Whatever, guys. Alright, great. And you guys are just going to shoot this guy right here. Good job. Pick that up. Okay, so where's the Mega Sloth? Let's see. Mega Sloth all the way down here. Probably worth it for the meat. Yeah, probably worth it for the meat. Come on over here, guys. Oh, I didn't select you guys. Okay, over here. Over here. They should probably pick that up, or the bots will, one of the two. Alright, um, let's back up a little bit, just to be on the safe side, guys. This is a mega sauce we're talking about. Alright, and here we go. There we go, good job. 
Um, come right up to it. And shoot it to death. There you go. Good job. Okay. Grab that. Please go ahead and take that with you. And off you go. Alright, fantastic. And hey, is that our last Crypto Sleep Basket? Holy fuck it is. Okay. Okay. We can leave the planet as soon as we boot this up. However, it's going to take 15 days for this to spin up. And we're going to be invaded the entire time. So, are we ready for that? We've got our turret set up. We've got our new kill box set up. It's not just going to be the kill boxes. We've set up a lot of turrets around just in case. Recar armor's finished. Let's go ahead and do that for Pondu really quick. Because she's going to need that. So the recon armor is the fabrication bench. I was right. Okay, great. Prestige recon armor is uranium, plasteel, gold. For components. Can we do this? Uh, we have enough components. We can do this once. We can do this probably more than once. But once is safe. What's the regular recon armor? Again, advanced components, uranium. Okay. Okay. So not as good, but still pretty good. And this would be... Really good against sharp. Okay against blunt and heat. Alright. Alright. It's got some possibilities. Compare that to the prestige. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's much better against Sharp. Uh, it's not that much better, though. Like... Yeah. Boost the sensitivity up, but maybe the regular Recon Armor is fine. Okay, make some Recon Armor. We'll do that once. We'll see how that goes. It does require some advanced components, so... So he's going to work on that first, but still. We could spin this up, though. It's dangerous. We can do it. I'm tempted. We're very, very close to the end, guys. It's just a matter of when we want to do it. Pirates of Fortune. Okay, what do we got? The highest stellar of the Refugee Empire wants you to save one of her caravans. The caravan's being hunted near Twitchville by two groups of pirates. Send all the pirates away from the caravan. The first group of pirates is composed of a bunch of dudes. Pirates will arrive in five days. That seems doable. I do want to wait till Pondu can actually, you know, go into melee first. Right now, I'm kind of worried about her. Yeah, let's not worry about it. Okay, so then Awesome wants some fucking clothing as he's all full of himself now. The Prestige Armor. Any Psycaster apparel. Okay, so what we need to do is make a brand new setup. Uh, just for awesome. So, manage outfits. We need to get a new outfit here. This is going to be... Noble, right? But this is four. Okay, so... Oh, whatever here. Don't get... Um, don't get biocoded apparel. Or tainted, for that matter. No, Nothing for the dead. Because they get a mood hit whenever they see that. Okay, so... You want prestige armor, so that's what we got to get. So you're allowed to have any of those three. Um, so nothing cataphract. You want prestige stuff, so... Okay, any of those would be fine. Noble apparel we need for sure. I'm going to just go ahead and get rid of anything not noble. Okay, so your noble apparel would have included the cape. Yeah, okay, that's fine. And headgear there for the beret and whatever else. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so this would be the noble outfit. Um, we don't have anything that fits that right now. So if we were to assign that to Awesome, he'd be na she'd be naked, which she would not like. She would not like that. So at the tailor bench, we should have enough cloth for this. So yeah, sure enough, we have some capes. 
Um, that's weird. I don't totally forgot we did that. Unfinished keep. Yeah, okay. Uh, so. Do until you have... I mean, just basically, like, two capes is fine. As long as we have those in reserve. Okay, you also want a formal shirt, I think it was. I mean, you can't wear both a beret and a fancy helmet, so you've got to choose. We've got a fancy helmet in here. Prestige Marine Helmet should be good enough. Um, what else did you want? What else do you want here? Okay, a formal shirt. And a cape. Cape we have. Any prestige armor. So we can try making a lady's hat. Alright, so make a lady's hat. Um, assuming it's in here. Yeah, there we go. Make a lady's hat. There you go. Um, just to make sure we always have one on standby. There you go. And you want a fancy formal shirt. And make sure we always have, let's say, two on standby. Okay, so someone will be by to create that. I forget who our tailor is, but somebody will do it. It's funny if Awesome's going to do that herself. Okay, speed three. Oh, we have a lot of chem fuel. Oh, shit. Our chem fuel storage is stacked up. Okay, that's a small problem. It, this is flammable, basically. We don't want to make sure this does not stay here. So what I'm going to do is expand this area. There. That should be enough, I hope. That's uh, not. It's 150. We have a shit ton of chem fuel. Okay. So this here, we can definitely... Oh, just this one. That way. We can make this so we don't need that much chem fuel anymore. So give me... Shitting me right now. Okay. Okay. It's toxic fallout time. Which means basically, it doesn't matter what I do here, we're boned. Fortunately, we have food here. And we have a lot of food in here, so we're not terribly boned. But everyone's got to stay indoors. Otherwise, you're going to have toxic buildup, and it's going to be very, very bad. It means our Mega Sloth's going to die. He's already going to die anyway because there's not enough hay to feed him. I think we kill him right now. That way we get the meat. And it's not a total waste. I kind of hate doing it. And Jazz is going to be mad because... Well, it's your pet. I think we just accept the mood hit. And just, yeah, just roll with it. Just roll with it. I know, I know. Jazz is going to be unhappy. Just suck it up. Right, everyone indoors. Well, the bots can go outside, so that's not terrible. But we definitely don't want to boot this up then. Not until the toxic fallout's over. Of course, what if it never gets over? Uh, we'll wait until the one-year mark. If it's not over by the time we get under a year, we'll say fuck it and boot it up anyway. We gotta take out... We gotta kill... Oh, shit. We can't kill the Mega Sloth right now because he's indoors. Um, haha. <laughs> So what we'll do is tell the animals that it's okay to come inside, and he'll be murdered. You can eat some meat for us, but that's okay. Just murder him straight away. There you go. Sorry, Jazz. Had to happen. Had to happen. But there's we couldn't feed him with hay because the hay would just there's not it's all outside. We can't do anything about that. So we're gonna be living on corn for a while. Um, these plants are all gonna die. Yeah, I was thinking maybe it's worth it to go out and try to harvest them, but I don't know. Probably not. Maybe just more rice here. I think that's fine. Yeah, I mean, really here are the corn. This is what this is all about. Well, fortunately, we made the geothermal generator when we did, because we're going to use up a lot of power here. Well, and she'll make armor, and it'll be all good. It'll just be, you know... A toxic Fallout, it's variable, right? Could be... Could be it lasts forever. Could be like, this is just how it happens from now on. Or could be done in, like, two weeks. It's hard to tell. Same with the, same with the Volcanic Winter. This has already lasted 17 days, though, so it could be we're just doomed... Only minorly doomed, though. I mean, the ship's ready to go. It's just if I fire it up, we're going to be invaded, and I'm not really sure I'm ready for that, especially with toxic fallout. 
Like, this isn't roofed over at all. Probably should do that. First of all, remove roof area here. I don't need this roof. I don't even know why this is roofed. Very strange. But definitely roof over here. Of course, I can't do that right now because it doesn't count as inside. I guess we could do this and then build this as inside. That could work. Then we can defend the colony. Yeah, okay, sure. I'm going to mark this as inside, because it's going to be. I do this. All right. I didn't put in barricades right there. That's what I should have done. There we go. Freaky's got a little bit of toxic build up on him now, but it'll be okay. But then if we're invaded, we can at least uh, hold up. We can at least fire back. I mean, the turrets can do that, too. Got a good trader. Really? Really? Um, do you guys know what the weather's like outside? Because it's not good. I mean, they're going to have toxic buildup. Come on in, guys. I mean, you need to come indoors, because otherwise you're going to, you know, die. Okay, good. They're smart enough to be in... No, no, they're going outside. Well, I can't trade with you guys, because you're outside now. Exotic goods could have advanced components, though, and I do still need those to make, you know, the armor. Okay. Alright, so, awesome. I'm gonna tell you that it's okay for you to go outside. It's not, but I'll tell you that anyway. You can go outside. You're gonna trade with this guy. Just go out and come back in. That's all you gotta do. Before he decides it's hostile territory and needs to leave. He does have advanced components. He has one. Fuck it. Take it. Um, do we want anything else here? The plasteel is okay, but whatever. Uh, components. He only has six of them. Uh, do 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 do. He has an artificial nose. He has a prosthetic heart. He has some gold. This was not worth talking to this guy at all. All right, here, tap some sculptures, because apparently we're stuck indoors. We're making these, like, all the time. That's great. Thank you. Okay, and then you go back inside, and you stay inside until this toxic fallout is over. The bot can pick up the... Yeah, the bot can pick up the stuff. Don't worry about that. Bots know what they're doing. Okay, sure, why not? Time for a party. It's a toxic fallout party. Huzzah, we're stuck indoors. Fuck it. <laughs> right, I mean, if you're stuck indoors, there were some quarantine parties. Don't understand that at all, but there were some quarantine parties. We're stuck inside. Might as well party it. Although, they, you know, that kind of defeats the purpose of quarantine. Well, at least we're not going to die. And we've got enough food for a while. We have meals for days. And we have nutrient paste if we need to. We have options. We're not dead yet. The wildlife's probably all going to die. Yep, Donkey's already hurt. What the crossed out part means means he's definitely hurt. He probably has toxic buildup right now. Oh, this Donkey. All the way down here. Yep, he's disabled due to toxic fill up. Yep, affected by toxic buildup extreme. So he's just straight up going to die. Um, that's true for most of the animals here. Dude, I didn't even know this guy was over here. He has some wake-up juice, some yayo, bio-coated sniper rifle. You know what? Sure. The bots want to come over here and grab that stuff. I'm okay. I'm not wild about the drugs. The drugs can stay out there, but the other stuff. So unfortunately, I think the uh, ambrosia is also going to be gone. Most of the plants here are going to just be dead. Great caravan's leaving. I didn't even realize these guys were over here. Um, I guess just burn the bodies. It's going to be a problem. It's going to be an issue. There's going to be a slight problem with the toxic fallout. Now, will the invaders be at risk? Not really. Um, the invaders aren't going to have the toxic fallout 
affect them very much. I mean, it will affect them a bit. They'll have some toxic buildup, but it, it won't kill them immediately. And really, if it if it doesn't kill them immediately, that means they can still invade us, and it's going to be a problem. The roof will help. Uh, flooring over might even be better. Why not? They got nothing else to do here. Here, floor this over with some brick, I guess. Yeah, fired brick flooring. What the hell? Go ahead and brick this all over, guys. Right in here. Uh, right there, and then right there. There you go. Easy has something to do. Okay, I don't know why you're knocking down the wall to do that, but all right. They are very fast. Benefits to brickwork. Bricks are easy to lay down. Harder to mortar, but still pretty quick. Food binge. Now's not the time. It's Paya. I mean, we have food, but please no. Please no. Yep, there she goes. She's gonna go eat. Alright, eat some lavish meals. Or some we can make more lavish meals if we need to. Yeah, she's just gonna be on a food binge for a while. It happens. Alright. That was easy. Why'd they knock this down? Probably because you can't have... I put in flooring, and it was... It happened to be in the spot where... A natural wall was, and you can't put flooring over a natural wall. Okay, we'll just brick it up again then. Right there. Probably don't really need to do that. Probably okay if we have a little extra room. Definitely move that out of the way, though. Okay, there you go. Thank you, guys. And you are making right now... Oh, some recon armor. Nice. Okay, great. We done making the capes and everything? We are done. Okay, great. So now we can say... Hey, awesome. You're no longer a worker. You're now a noble. And so as such, you get to change out your outfit. That can be any number of things. Eventually he'll do... There we go. Awesome's changing your outfit now. Okay, what have you got? She's got a prestige marine helmet, a plain leather former shirt, heavy fur cape, and a low shield pack. I didn't really get to wear a low shield pack. Um, probably take the low shield pack away, because that's not actually going to be something we want you to deploy anytime soon. I think she won't do it until we tell her to. Maybe we're fine. Alright, well, she looks very fancy. That's really the important thing. She just wanted to look fancy. Silvia is making... Yeah, she's making advanced components right now because we still have only five. Uh, everyone's maintaining at the same time. Oh, that's true. I do have that set up, don't I? Uh, we can stagger a little bit, I guess. Like, we don't have enough spots for all 12 to set up at the same time, but what we can do is set up, say, every other person and then do anything during that period. Everyone's still recreate at the same time. They will appreciate the camaraderie that happens when you're, you know, you're all playing games at the same time. Though Sylvia apparently doesn't want to subscribe to that particular notion. So, wait, could you work on this freaking recon armor? Why? Oh, I just let her do it. She just needs to make some advanced components. Once she gets to 10, she'll be fine. I think the recon armor already has advanced components in it, so she needed to make some for that. But now she's building up. But hey, we still have... This is all done. Let's really hope the Toxic Fallout goes away soon. Three days already. Okay. We're not down to the one year mark yet. That's my limit. We can wait it out. We've got enough food. We have we have the ability to grow crops. We're probably okay. Okay, Awesome's actually making the recon armor. Sure. Go ahead. There's a lot of work to do on that recon armor. But eventually, Pondu will be able to pick it up whenever it's done. So that should happen automatically. We shouldn't need to necessarily micromanage that, hopefully. Yeah, 
Yeah, and most of our crops are dying. That's not a surprise. Toxic Fallout is no joke. My guess is wildlife is going to be gone. Yep, no wildlife. They're all dead. The trees will start to die too pretty soon. If they haven't already. It's going to be very unfortunate. Yep, we've already got... Oh, this guy's dead too. Okay. Boss will pick him up. Anybody else dead around here we need to know about? I mean, there's some dead raccoons, dead animals and stuff. Yep, the donkey's already been... Like, it's not just toxic, it is, it is a decaying advancer, basically. It'll, it'll advance the decay on anything around. I'm kind of glad we, glad we killed the lynx early. We hadn't, I'm pretty sure you'd be hunting us for food right now. There's no ambrosia in there, so get rid of that. Yep, all the animals are dead. We still have some invaders and stuff. Left over from some raids. Most part seems to be done. The only thing that worries me right now is Randy might throw an infestation at us. Infestation would be just bugs trapped inside like caves and stuff. Which of course wouldn't be affected by the toxic fallout. So we'd have to find some way to fight against them and that would be tough. That would be tough. Quest expires. I think there's no chance of me taking this quest. What is this? Oh. Yeah. No chance. Goodbye. Sure, get some corn. Alright, great. Got our first indoor harvest. Not a whole lot of it, but I'll take it. And there'd be a certain point where I'd just be tired of corn. Fortunately, we do have some other stuff. We have some potatoes left over. We have some rice. We have some pemmican. We have some meat. But that's um, not necessarily going to be long term. We're lucky we're going to get some traders. Uh, what I should probably do... Yeah, how much of this overlap? Okay, there's just some overlap. If I move this down a couple of steps, we should be able to get everything incorporated into it. So reinstall it down here. There. And if that gets reinstalled, that should be... A, that should be a, let us grab everything. Yeah, there's some overlap, but that's okay. All right, great. We actually extend this down further if we wanted to. Like before, it would have been imputed on the kill box, but now it's just in this open area. We might as well. So we can we can extend this down if we need to. Right now, it looks like we have more than enough space, though. We're good. And really, we only need to be here for another year and a half. And that's at most. Like probably going to be less than that. Yeah, unfortunately, the corn crop's a little uneven, but maybe that's okay. Like, the freezer can just hold it. It's fine. And again, worst comes to worst, we do have the nutrient paste dispenser in case we don't want to cook anymore. Or can't cook anymore. All right, we still have some simple meals, and that's alright. Am I doing simple meals times four, or am I just doing simple meals? Just some meals. That was silly. That was silly. Should be simple meals times four, which is not actually an option. How is that not an option? We have times four for everything. Oh, there we go. Didn't see it. Okay, do you until you have, let's say, we were doing 25, right? Let's keep it at 25. There. Freaky, are you a good cook? Should you be cooking right now? I mean, I guess you don't really have much else to do. Oh, I mean, you gotta train up somehow. Sure, why not? Hopefully no food poisoning. I mean, the area is very clean right now. This is all sterile tile. Same as the hospital, so it should be pretty clean in there. Not to mention the cleaning bot goes around all the time. The bots. The bots don't have toxic fallout. Yeah, there's no toxic fallout on these guys. That's great. Pretty sure the robots are immune, so there's no worries there. And well, everyone's stuck inside. Oh, hey, look at that. We have a mech raid. Unfortunately, mechs are not, uh... Shit, that's a lot of mechs. They're not gonna worry about toxic fallout. They don't care. That is a lot of mechs. Fortunately, they're not drop potting in, so they're just gonna come for us, right? They are attacking immediately. Yep, they're just coming for us. Okay, that's fine. Come on in, guys. Alright, so, we want to set up new defensive positions, obviously. 
Because right now our old defense positions are like way over here. Not to mention that is in, you know, toxic fallout range. That's bad. So let's set up our new, tax, new defense positions here. So you're going to get recruited over here. That is your new defense position. We're doing this a lot. Uh, Jazz, you're recruited. Come over here. That is your new defensive position. All right. Pandu. Ooh. Yeah. Um, it might be okay. I'm just worried, like, she's melee, and she currently has no armor. Like, the armor's not ready yet. It's almost ready. It's got another couple of steps in, but she's not actually ready yet. Let's keep her indoors. Uh, Sylvia, come over here. It's your new posi position. Bonk boy. Here. Star Blazer over here. By Thrago, right over this way. It's Paya. You're not doing anything anyway. Come on over. Defend the colony. In a sec, right over here. Ricky, congratulations. You're now part of the Michel Mil uh, Militia. I can talk today. Dream, right over this way, if you please. And finally, Missa, right over here. We still have room for one more person if we wanted to. Hey guys, let's all line up. This is all roofed over, so you should be fine. And here they come. Wow, really good shots. Uh, the robots are... We should probably tell the robots to stay inside right now. But we do not want them to do anything else. Fortunately, the Scythers and Lancers came in before the Pikemen did, because the Pikemen are slow. Who got hit? Dream got hit. How you doing, buddy? Your left leg got shot off. Okay, you should probably go ahead and take care of that. <laughs> go and, uh, Goliath, you're the doctor. Go go take care of that. Make sure, make sure Dream's not going to die. Because, you know, he doesn't have a leg anymore. He's going to hobble over there. Okay, great. First pike went down. Oh, that is beautiful. Second pike went down. Didn't even get a shot off. Okay, he's going to get a shot. But didn't matter. Perfect. Nobody else seems to have gotten hit. We're fine. Don't go back indoors. And that's it, actually. We got all the mech hives. Yeah, we got them. We got them all. Nobody else left. All right, so the robots can go ahead and drag these guys indoors. Uh, you guys are unrestricted now. Uh, what they're actually going to do... Oh, they're, they're going to put them up here. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, so we need a new lake for Dream. As uh, Dream had his leg shot off. He's going to bleed us. Goliath. He went to bed. No, 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 no. Probably just treating this guy before he bleeds to death. You weirdo. Also, we need to build a new leg. Uh, do, 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 do. I think maybe not prosthetic. Maybe we go full bionic. What the hell? Let's live it up a little bit. Make me a bionic leg, please. Thank you. Okay, great. Yeah, patch him so he doesn't die. Good choice. There. He's just going to walk it off. Dream is just going to... Are you nuts? <laughs> he doesn't want to rest in the hospital bed. He wants to rest in his own bed. You're insane, Dream. You're absolutely mad. All right. All right, it's up to you. It just seems crazy to me, but it's up to you. Okay, well, we get some components from the destroyed mechanoids, so that's cool. When you know, they're eventually broken down. All right, we're going to make a new leg for Dream. So he's not going to be hobbling around. He's still bleeding a little bit. Anybody will take care of that, but still, he's still bleeding a little bit. 
pretty nuts. All right, well, sure. Sure, why not? I mean, things could have been worse, right? I mean, we're not going to be able to do that, unfortunately. So the IED trap's going to be unarmed for a while. But the turret's helped out. Awesome's almost done with the recon armor. Come on, just want to see this done. want to see this done, I want to see Pondu wear it. Not that I'm sure we necessarily should have taken Pondu out in the Toxic Fallout just to deal with some droids, but... I feel like we're going to need that, that uh, melee work pretty soon. There we go. Recon armor done. All right, so Pondu should come over immediately and pick it up. Uh, by immediately, I mean, you know, whenever she's ready. Well, let's Pondu right now. There we go. Pondu, meditate, and then hopefully go pick up the armor. So I'm going to set the uniform up correctly, and I th thought I did. Like he's doing art. Or harvesting, but apparently I didn't set this up correctly. Okay. What am I missing? I told you for armor. Ah, oh, I didn't actually. Okay. I didn't actually set this up. Yeah, I said the helmets, but I didn't say anything else. Okay, so I said I should say recon armor. I think that's what we actually made. Um, well, the bill is still here, so we'll see. Yep, recon armor. Okay, so now that I've, that I've actually set it up. Let's make sure. Melee. We said you need to grab the recon armor. Okay, yeah, good. Now she should go do that pretty soon. There we go. Okay, there we go. She's suited up. Oh, I kind of like it. Need a little design. I'm a fan. Ideally, I have that on everybody. Probably better than a flak jacket. Actually, let's compare these just to be honest. Just to see. So the recon armor. Protection against sharp. Um, and blunt. Actually, that's pretty good armor. That's actually better than the default stats. So that probably depends on who's making it. Yeah, because the quality is excellent. That's why. Okay, it's not very pretty. That's just how it goes. I mean, it's, it's functional. That's the important part. Okay. So decent. Equipment delay. All right. So, base that off of Black Jacket. So, it doesn't protect against Blunt as well. Sharp, not as well either. Yeah, overall, it looks like Recon Armor might be the step up that we need. Make sure everyone survives a little bit better. Because that would also protect against... So look here. Like, this goes up high. And that's why Dream got his leg shot off, is because this doesn't protect the legs. But the Recon Armor should, right? Yeah. Recon Armor protects the legs. So we need Recon Armor... Well, needs a strong word. I would like Recon Armor for everyone. It's expensive as all hell. Right? Because the recon armor costs a lot. Three advanced components for everybody. So again, 36 components. Alright, let's just make that happen first. So let's say the advanced components. Let me get that 36. Once we get up to 36, well, let's uh, get the bonic leg first. Make the Bonic Lake first, then do advanced components. Because then Dream's not hobbling around. But then if we do that, hopefully everyone will be protected and no one get their leg shot off ever again. Or we just have everyone have Bonic Legs, which would be funny, but probably not a good idea. Alright, they'll get on that eventually. So Awesome should be feeling better now that he's actually in full armor, right? Don't want to see the Star Blazer, but that's really, like, not my problem. And of course, they're all feeling trapped, but, you know... It's either that or die of poison from the toxic fallout. So really, out of the two, I'd rather just live. Shit, we have a break here. The turret broke, and no one's going to be able to get to it. Uh, the robots, I don't think they can fix it. Okay, so we have a hole in our defenses. That's only if some drop pod falls here, though, so hopefully not actually a thing. I mean, it's going to be a thing when we turn on this. Turn this on. Well, so we have some issues. 
But for right now, thanks for watching. This has been Rumworld. I'm Peace Universe, your Peace Universe 2, and I'll see you guys next time.